The Cherokee Nation is setting aside a thousand acres of land to protect plants that are important to its cultural heritage. News on Six's Grant Stevens takes us to that site near Stillwell. The Cherokee Nation wants to preserve this land so that the knowledge of Cherokee traditions and medicines can be seeded in the next generation. Deep in Adair County, past rutted, muddy roads, there's a thousand acres of pristine Cherokee land. We have a little bit of everything out here. Cherokee Nation ethnobiology manager Feather Smith points out what makes this place so special. We actually have blood root here. Wild ginger and Cherokee, this would actually translate into mule's foot. This tends to actually be a good one to use for teas. The Cherokee way is that you don't take everything, you only take what you need. She says Cherokee elders called medicine keepers have been using these plants in traditional recipes and medicines for generations. But Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says that knowledge is fading. One of two things is going to happen. This knowledge is going to stay alive and in fact uh, be perpetuated through the generations or we're going to read about it in history books and we don't want to read about it just in history books we want it to be part of our living culture that stays with us for years and years to come but there was really this uh, risk of uh, so much of our next generation just not catching on to that knowledge this site really allows them to be able to do that chief hoskin hopes bringing young students here to learn from the medicine this keepers the will keep cherokee is, knowledge uh, of plant life and medicines alive it's elevating in the consciousness of the cherokee people about what these plants mean to our people, what, what they've meant historically, what they can still mean today. Medicine keepers hope to come back to this land towards the end of May for a lesson in traditional cooking. In Adair County, Grant Stevens, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.